Hi guys, my name is Erica and I am here today to show you how I make my synthetic natural extensions. Here's a um, couple I've made, what we are making today. So, you can see in the camera. Got the cool loop ends and the whoops the ends. So, I'm going to show you a video. I'm going to do my best so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, the tools we are using today are we're using the comb, the fleet comb, and it's great for back combing, teasing, and the hair and the crochet hooks. Um, so, today we are using the 0.75 millimeters. And sometimes I'll use the very, very tiny soft pick thread, but technically it's like 0.5 millimeters. Um, so I'll go back and forth using these. Okay, so, and also have your steamer ready because we are, after crocheting, we are going to go over the steamer to, um, to make it really solid, make it more tighter, and makes it really soft movement. Um, okay, so let's get started. I have my station here. Um, as you can see, this is a lap desk, and this is from Ikea, and <laughs> it's called uh, Dave. And I drilled a hole here that, this is like a towel um, hook from my Bed Bath & Beyond. So it's great for like, you know, holding it back home in it. You can see the threads here. Cool. Okay. I do this. I... Can you see me okay? Let's see. All right. So first thing I like to do is um, I want when I back home the hair gets like all over the place. So I need something to hold this, you know, to make it really secure. Some people braid it at the, um, the top here. So what I do is I kind of like grab it and I use a hook and just like really poke at it and weave it just to make it really tight. So the hair will stay in place. Basically you're just crocheting at the roots here. As a start, you know. So you think if you're good enough, you can come take take a closer look. Da 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 da. da. Okay. As you can see, it's crocheted right here. Right here. So that means you're good to back home because. This won't move the hair here, so it'll be all it'll be clean. Okay, now time to back home. Okay, rip the hair apart a little bit. It doesn't have you have to back home a lot of it. Um, you want to be just scary enough so you can actually crochet it over it. Just feel out the spots where if it feels thin and just push the hair up. So it depends on the size of the lock. Like if you want it thicker, you make it a lot bigger. Um, use more hair for thicker locks and less hair for skinnier locks. So here we are back home, like a poofy tail. <laughs> 
So now we are going to use the crochet hook. Um, let's see. Let me try to see what I'm doing. So we are going to crochet over the hair. Just hold it out. And then basically you just weave the hair back and forth each side. You go grab the loose hair and make it into like a little braid on one side. Sometimes I like to stab a little just to push the hair up, thickening it. So when I make these, I gotta work fast because you know, crocheting takes a lot of time. And just take your time if you're if this is the first time making synthetics, like just practice with you know fake hair. And you'll expect a lot of boo-boos and stuff, um, cuts from the hooks. As you see, is uh, starting to become a dreadlock here. And you just keep going till you're finished, palm oil a little, and then we could go over the steamer. <clears throat> so the steamer is gonna press it down to shrink up into like a skinnier lock. <clears throat> okay, let's speed up. Yeah, the table gets a little shaky. Ah, earthquake! Sorry, I didn't find any music though. I want, I want you to be able to hear me loud and clear. Um, <clears throat> So far, it feels good. Very, um, very thick. But it'll shrink down anyways. So when I get to the, um, the tip here, I kind of like use my fingers and push the hair up a little bit, you know, like teasing it. Easy. And then, da 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 da, keep pushing it over. Da, 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 da. Sometimes I'll go over the uh, tinier hook at the ends for like a thinner, but it's just optional. I can just keep going with the bigger hook. Mm -hmm. Be really careful with this uh, the tinier hook because you can actually pierce yourself, which I've done it plenty of times. You know, getting the hook under the nail, which is no fun. Really, really scary. So. Um, <clears throat> When it gets to the tip, you got this long skinny hair. I just kind of like pull it, palm roll it out into a whips. Okay, and just go over a little bit, you know, whatever spots you feel that needs work or tension. Okay, cool. We are done. Um, so if you want to palm roll a little bit. And you can take a closer look. Yeah. All right, so 
next part is that we are going to be uh, steaming. Come on, camera. Stand. Okay. So this is the steamer I use. It's um, Euro Pro Shark Steamer. It's pretty good. I like it so far. A little bit heavy. Um, so we gotta steam it. So it's gonna shrink. Very hot. And then let's take a look. Um, supposedly you're supposed to let it cool off a little bit and stuff, but this is it. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Can you see okay? Yeah, okay. So it's nice and steamed. And that's about it. And it's just, you know, make a lot more of the colors, doing the rest. Thank you for watching the tutorial and I hope you have a good day.